Hey guys, Rit again. I wanted to make a quick video on high risk, high reward guns, uh, shotguns, specifically the Mastiff, or as the Apex community has dubbed it, the Stiffy. Pretty much everyone has experienced the frustration of getting big hits with the Mastiff on some days other days whiffing every single shot or getting the dreaded 13 damage over and over again. I notice a lot of people avoid picking up the massive for this reason when it is one of the most powerful guns in the game, especially if you're running an aggressive kit. Some quick fundamentals before we get started. Mastiff is natively equipped with a choke, so that means you can aim down sights or ADS to minimize spread. You can quick scope when shooting your shots to get the benefit of minimize spread while staying mobile. The two biggest problems I see why people miss their massive shots is they try to flick every shot. Flicks look cool when you hit them, but they're not reliable. In the aiming community, flicking is viewed as a meme, instead preferring consistent straight lines when moving to your target. This isn't to say that you should never flick, but if you're already having problems consistently landing your shots, trying to flick is not the way to improve. You can look at Apex players like It's Timmy, who is really good at hitting flick shots with a shotgun, and you might try to mimic his gameplay, but you're hurting yourself in the long run if you don't learn the fundamentals. The second big problem I see why people miss their massive shots is because they use the same technique when tracking a target to hit their shotgun shot. When you're starting out, you will have poor reading and reactivity skills, which is essentially your ability to understand where the target is relative to your crosshair and how quickly you can make corrections based on change in their movement. Since most engagements with a shotgun are close range, you'll be dealing with close fast strafing targets and you can get flooded with movement if they're good at dodging. On top of that, you're using a slow firing and slow reloading gun. This is a recipe for disaster if you're trying to eliminate your targets the same way you eliminate targets with tracking guns or from a distance. What you should be doing instead is trail behind your target slightly and react to it when it strafes back into your crosshair. When targets strafe back, there is a moment in time when they essentially sit still because their momentum is shifting from one direction to the other direction. This is when they are most vulnerable and easiest to hit. By trailing behind the target slightly, you're setting up easy elimination opportunities because most good players will alternate strafe directions frequently, which is commonly referred to as AD spam. I recommend training this using Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer, and you can check the video in the card on screen to watch my video on getting into Kovacs if this is your first time hearing about it. You can use Close Fast Strafes Easy, or CFSE for short, Thin Shotgun and CFSE Thin Shotgun Headshot, or the Invincible Variants, or the Non-Thin Variants. Don't worry, I'll put the scenario names in the description if you didn't catch that. If you have trouble with the bots at full speed, you could set the time scale down to 0.7 or so and run free play until you get the hang of it and slowly tune the time scale up. You can run these scenarios for 10 to 20 minutes a day or integrate them into your regular Kovacs routine. The way you want to practice these scenarios are the way that I'm showing on screen, where at first you're focusing on trailing behind the target slightly, and then when it moves back into your crosshairs when you want to shoot for the target. Over time, your reading and reactivity skills will improve and you'll be able to more reliably hit your shotgun shots without the crutch of trailing the target to wait for it to react back. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. And if you like my content and want to see more of it, please subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Give me some feedback in the comments below. I'll see you next time.